Carson is great with that elbow. He went from dump to the drag. It's like a front headlock immediately halfway through, and then oh, just more throws a box and covers him. It's like a magic act there. Welcome to Earn Your Gold Medal. Today's video is video number three of a four video series highlighting the relationship between the short drag and the dump. As you can see, I included Colin Moore, Carson Karsler, and Mason Paris. They're also on video number two, highlighting the dump by itself. And this video is going to be highlighting them doing the dump to set up the short drag, as well as the short drag to set up the dump. If you haven't already, after this video, please go back and watch the first two videos of the series. Video number one showcases the short drag as a technique by itself. And video number two also showcases the dump by itself to show you that these are great moves to do alone. But when you combine them, it's very, very dangerous. And it, it, it makes for a great offense. So let's get right into showing the wrestlers doing a move. Every decorated resume. Oh, elbow pass or a sucker drag. So Colin Moore is facing the number 17 ranked wrestler in the country from Rutgers. You can see him go for a dump. When the dump doesn't work, you can then see him go short drag. So I paused right here to show you the hand switching grip. Right hand goes around the lat. Short drag brings him back down to the mat for two points. That's the first example. The second example is Colin Moore versus Preston Weigel. Multiple time All-American. This is the semifinal match at NCAAs, guys. So this is high level competition. Quick escape. Goes for the front headlock immediately halfway through and then just more throw. So for my guys who haven't seen the last video just showcasing the dump. I'm going to show you Colin Moore hitting Preston Weigel with the dump two times it earlier in the match. Out of Oklahoma State, Preston Weigel, record of 14 of the weeks ago. On the reshot, four, one, terrific. My reason for showing those is because what happens, and this isn't just a, this chain wrestling concept, this concept of having a second move isn't just a concept for the dump and the short drag. It's a concept of, for everything. What happens when the guy has already, when you've already wrestled the guy earlier in the season and you can't hit him with the same move because he's been practicing, preparing for that. What happens when you've already done it in the match one or two times and you need to do it again in the third period or the second period or whatever situation that you're in and you're not able to because he knows what's coming. He knows how to feel for it. This is why this is so important. So as we saw, Colin Moore hit two easy dumps against Preston Weigel. And the third time he tried it, it didn't work. But watch what he does. As soon as he steps his foot up, if you watch the first video, he's in the perfect arm draft position. Perfect arm draft position. That back foot windshield wipers across, he switches hand, reaches around, two points. This one is against Jared Hall. Moore's really been slowed down here. That's a credit to how. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, Moore's got him in trouble. Austin Osanian, don't spill any onion. So all the other examples that we've seen so far and that we will see has been using the dump slash barrel roll and threatening that in order to set up the easy two points for the short drag. In this example, we show Colin Moore used the short drag to set up the dump. So in this video, that I included my last video, this is just him hitting Jared Hall with the dump. And Jared Hall is a three-time All-American and NCAA runner-up. And this is the third and fourth match at NCAA. So this is high-quality competition. Watch what Colin Moore does. He's stuck in the front headlock. He then fakes the short drag. He knows he's not getting it because his opponent's already standing up. Face the short drag and then go back to the dump. Ends up getting the first period pin. Now we're going to look at Carson Carson do the same technique. Club and shot there attempt for Ramirez. He's going to try to hustle. And man, Carson is. So again, we saw Carson Carson try to utilize the dump against Julian Ramirez and have it not work. A big reason for that is earlier in the match, in the first five seconds of the match, Carson Karsler did a dump. So Julian Ramirez has been the good wrestler that he is. He's now prepared for the dump. 
So now when it doesn't work, what does Carson Carson do? He goes for it. Julian Ramirez is prepared. And the second he realizes he's not turning him with that dump, he immediately goes short drag. As you can see, wheel on the hands, that's two points. Same thing against NCAA runner-up, Jake Quinzel. I sped it up just to show you that he did, in fact, finish his move and get the two-point take now. So let's look into it. Carson Karchler goes dump like he always does. Doesn't work. Immediately, without even thinking, goes short drag. And he, as, you can, as you already saw, he ends up getting his two points. Now for the last clip, Mason Paris. He shoots a double. Opponent sprawls. He ends up in the front headlock. Tries to dump, doesn't work. Tries to dump again, doesn't work again, instantly go short drag. Tries to dump, does not work, instantly goes short drag. Gets a two point take now. Number nine wrestler in the country, top 10 wrestler in D1 wrestling. So, very good opponent. So, thank you guys for watching. One more video left in this series. We're not done yet. And the next video is going to be about what I call a short drag lat wheel. And if you tune in tomorrow, you're going to see exactly why I call it that. See you guys later.